Did you know that you had a vibrational meter reader? Did you know that you had something within you that measures and meters your vibration? What is a vibration, your vibe, your mood and feeling? I think you know, and it's called your feelings. Your feelings are the indicator where your vibrational meter reader is metering. Today on the Releasing Negative Emotions show, John and I are gonna um, work, well, John's gonna work with somebody and help them raise their vibrational meter reader through the deletion of the negative emotion called low self-esteem. Is that you? Hello, everybody. Welcome. My name is Michael Loche. I'm the author of these three books and also here every Saturday with John. We're on episode number two, two, two. Can you, can you believe that, John? Two, two, two. Yeah. And uh, this month we've been uh, celebrating the merge of law of attraction and emotion code and, and how releasing negative emotions actually are such best friends with law of attraction. So if today's subject interests you, guess what? You can have a bro show marathon with 221 episodes. And if you'd like to be on our list so you can know what the topic is each Saturday on Friday night, I think about nine in the morning, Friday morning, about nine o'clock, we send an email announcing what the title is. You might say, ooh, I like that. I'm going to be live tomorrow with them. Or uh, I think 30 minutes before today's show, we send another reminder. You can join us live on YouTube and Facebook. Be sure to join that below. It's michaellozier.com forward slash live. And uh, we'll keep you connected. John, introduce yourself to our new friends. Hey, hey everyone. Yes, my name is John Inverarity, Certified Emotion Code, Body Code Practitioner. I live in Vancouver, Canada, and I love helping people all over the world with mental health challenges like low self-esteem and, and aches and pains. And hey, if you're watching live, say hello. Let us know where you're watching from. We'd love to know who's here with us today. And uh, yeah, we'll be reading comments all through the, the show. Yes. So, you know, John, the purpose of the show is to let people know there's alternative ways and talk about alternative ways to feel better. Imagine someone having the emotion, I'm feeling so sad. And we say, well, we can delete that. So, what? I'm feeling so well. I'm, imagine the ability to identify an emotion that you're having and not like how it feels and delete it. It doesn't serve you to have those feelings. So that's what we are. We are, uh, uh, negative emotion deleters and we can do it on your behalf and we use the emotion code to do that so today John is going to work what John you tell people what we're looking for what you're looking for today please yeah looking for a volunteer today so be watching live on on Facebook here or, or YouTube live we're also streaming live on YouTube and uh, yeah you know you you could improve uh, self-esteem or confidence and you know it's affecting in your life in one way or another. Uh, we don't really need to know, you know, what area. Just volunteer and be like, hey, need some help. You know, put your hand up in the comments there and I'll do a session on you. I'll, I'll show you, you know, how it works. Yeah, good stuff. So someone's gonna get a session today. I'm gonna take the first part of today's program, talk about law of attraction so you really understand the impact of having low self-esteem. And the best news of all, hashtag, we are negative emotion deleters. Someone's going to get a live session today, John. Let's welcome our friends this morning, please. We have Natasha with us. Hey, hey. hey, hey Natasha. Hey, Natasha Paula Samuel. Yeah, always joining us. Uh, and Veronica's here. Paul. Hello from Boston. Hey, Boston. I might know her name from Clubhouse. I don't know that that's true. Got a lot of new followers on Clubhouse. So uh, if you're on Clubhouse, look me up. Michael underscore Loche. Lots mm -hmm. of fun there. Yeah, Sheldon Foster in the house. Hello, hey, Sheldon. Sheldon. So nice to see you again. Hey, hey, hey. It's Sylvia Bellini. Dark here in London after a gray day. Greetings. Having my tea. Having my tea. It must be tea time. And Kathy Worth is in the house. John, why don't you ask Kathy a couple questions and see if she can uh, fit your needs today? Hello, Kathy. Thank you for volunteering. Um, don't really need to know much, yeah, but yeah, we're working on low self-esteem or boosting confidence and uh, maybe a severity. So if you can, just sort of in general over the past, you know, a little while, six months or a year, what, uh, where you would you, what number you would put it at, 10 being the most uh, severe. You know, one of the, th how my, you're going to read Dr. Brad's uh, definition, my interpretation of self-esteem, low self-esteem is my inability to esteem myself. So if, if you can't say to yourself, 
you know what? I did a good. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't win the 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 job, but I did a good job at the interview. If you're unable to do that, it means you have the inability to esteem yourself. And yes, it's caused by in most cases one emotion. You're going to find out more about that today. So uh, our friend Lori Mayo from Vegas is saying hello. Hello, Lori. And who else, John? I think you better do this one, the triple name. This is a juicy Alicia one. Alicia Taylor Wheeler. You know, I love to be a game show host. And I love a, and I love a triple, double hyphenated last name. Multiple. So thank you. From Georgia, looks Taylor like, Taylor. I think. And McDonough, McDonald, McDonough. McDonough, McDonough. Uh, okay, listen, welcome everybody. We're so glad that you're with us again today. Uh, I'm going to talk about a little law of attraction training session here again today. This show is to show you the relationship between low self esteem and your overall vibration. Let's say that we could measure your vibes, I don't know, on a scale of zero to 10. And zero meant, look at where is zero? It's negative, and, and above 50 is just like a radio station. And you would know where you're at on this dial by how you feel. Are you ticked off and angry and disappointed and feeling hopelessness, helplessness, guilt, shame, blame, disappointment? Well, if that's your feeling, you can tell that you don't have a high vibe. Now, what does a high vibe mean? Well, this is low vibe. That's a high vibe. It means high on the dial. Even the expression to raise your vibration, it doesn't mean to levitate it. It means to raise it on the dial. So maybe you're feeling love and appreciation and you got this and you have that and your life's wonderful and everything you touch turns to gold. You would, and you've all had that moment, maybe never stayed there, but you would say, boy, my dial was high. If we're using the dial to indicate your vibration, this is you, it doesn't look like anybody here, but this is a vibrational bubble. And this is what is around you. It's the vibration that's around you. So when you have a lower overall vibration, that's the vibration around you. And when you have a higher vibration, that's the vibration of around you. And you're thinking, okay, Michael, what's your point? Well, the point is, wait for it. I'm making a little bit of noise right now. Here it is, wait for it. The obedient law of attraction is in your office, it's in your bedroom, it's in your car, it is everywhere. And you know what it's doing? It's responding to your vibration and doing this to it. Wait for it, watch it, say it when you see it. Type this in, law of attraction matches my vibration. How many people can type that in? Law of attraction matches my vibration. Now I get it. Maybe your relationship part of your life, boy, you got a high vibe there. You know, and if that was the only vibe in your life and it was 90 out of 100, you could say, my vibe's on 90 because that's the balance of your vibration. And then maybe your money vibe is really, really good too. You know, you have sources of money. So around money, so those two vibes are 90 and 90, so the balance of your vibration is 90. But boy, when it comes to how much you hate your job and you're spending seven hours and going there, that lower vibration of that department in your life affects the overall balance of your vibration. So what we want to do is to be able to identify the emotion that's causing me to lower my vibration, have it deleted, cue him, have it deleted, and it's a math equation. It's a math equation. <laughs> I'm trying to see equation. It's a math equation. The best way to become more positive is to become less negative. So what are the emotions that are causing you to have a negative vibration? Delete them. And by default, you see your natural state is a high vibration. There's just layers of things, this experience and this experience and these thoughts and this history. And we delete that experience and feeling and that experience. And as we delete these negative emotions, your positive vibration that's natural to you sur surfaces. So we're not helping you be more positive. We're helping you be less negative. And the best way to become more positive is to become less negative. Okay, John, we've got some friends that are helping us out here. Let's do a quick uh, little thank you. Uh, let's see. Sarah Sullivan saying hello, Natasha. Uh, is helping us out here. Law of Attraction matches vibrations. Sylvia, Pixology Studios is saying hello. Uh, uh, W88 from 
uh, YouTube is with us. Benjamin's saying hello to you and I, and Natasha's giving us a quote. So that's it. You want to become more positive. You don't have to think positive things. You can just stop thinking about negative things. It's a math equation. Q, John. What's John going to do? John's going to identify this negative emotion that's on your dial and delete it for you. John, set up your session, please. Yeah, so these negative trapped emotions, they're all low, uh, low vibrational energies, right? So some are like 50 or below. So imagine having, you know, a few dozen of these inside you. That's going to bring your whole vibe down. And, you know, if you have, you know, more low self-esteem, uh, you know, a bunch of those trapped inside you, that's sort of like what you'll be radiating out as well. And that's kind of like what you'll be attracting into your life, you know, situations uh, day to day, right? Create patterns, uh, you know, with work or with relationships, right? So it's our job to, to go in there. What we do is as practitioners, we connect up to you and we call that a proxy connection. And we're communicating with your subconscious mind. We're asking yes or no questions. And we're muscle testing to find out uh, which emotion it is on the chart. So there's 60 trapped emotions in two columns, six rows. And once we identify it, we clear it with a magnet. It goes over the governing meridian. So all the meridians in, in the uh, acupuncture meridian, the you know energy system, uh, connect up to the governing meridian. And my intention as a practitioner, amplified by the magnet, clears out that that little ball of energy. That trapped emotion is just a little ball of energy. Well, like, I mean, it could be the size of your fist, you know, stuck in your body. And that the whole process just clears it out, releases it, right? So instantly you could be feeling lighter, uh, happier, uh, more optimistic, uh, more confidence. Well, that's, that's what we're going for here. Yeah. Well, that's a great explanation. We go okay. in, you find the emotion, you delete it on their behalf. Okay, uh, yeah. so John, tell us who you're gonna be working with today. Yes, yeah, so we have a volunteer here, um, up at the top there early, Kathy. I believe volunteered. Yeah, Kathy Worth would like to volunteer. Absolutely. Um, yeah, absolutely. So I did ask if there was a, a severity for Kathy. If you're still with us, uh, just say hello. Uh, hopefully you're still watching here, Kathy. <clears throat> and we'll get right to it. Yeah. Um, who else? There's a question here, I think. From Yeah, let's take that question and then you can. Uh, yeah. Or we want to make sure that she's with us. So. Uh, it looks like White Eagle 88. How's that for being, um, <laughs> for my translation skills? I think that's good, yeah. Yeah, so he's saying, or they're saying, uh, there are spiritual healers out there who believe that you have to clear your frequencies before you can trust your vibration. Any thoughts? Or trust your emotions, and then she says. Trust your emotions, yeah. John and I will have a different answer to that because we're different. But So with the emotion code, you don't use your emotions to make decisions. We're robotized. We do have to trust our fingers, however. We have to trust our muscle testing. And the way you trust your muscle testing is you practice the snot out of it. I, I went silent on the wrong word. You practice the blank out of it, right? And then you trust it. And you have to stay super hydrated. And, you, and you, you affirm what a yes is and what a no is. Now, the intuitive part, this is where Jonathan's in, will be nowhere to go with the client. My intuition says I should start here and do that. So I don't know, John, what's your interpretation of trusting your emotions? Yeah, that's really good. So uh, this probably isn't the, the best answer answering the question, but <clears throat> I think like myself as a practitioner, I like to keep myself clear. You know, I have like sessions weekly to keep, just make sure I'm clearing out all my, you know, negative emotions. And yeah, just to keep myself at a high vibe state. Yeah. And, I, you know, I think that's necessary as a practitioner. Um, I agree. I yeah. have a daily, right after client, finding out if I absorbed any of their emotions. And I remember when I was first doing it, I wasn't doing that and it was soft out. And you did a second, you said, oh, you were loaded with client emotions. And then I start clearing them. So it's a, it's like a little, real quick, did I absorb anything from yeah. that? So yeah. I don't. I don't yeah. wait to find out, you know, when I'm not feeling good or I'm tired or whatever. Yeah. And if that's like a pattern, if you're noticing that or any sort of practitioners that's listening right now and you're absorbing your clients, uh, uh, emotions, you could do a specific session on what's making you vulnerable to absorb other people's emotions. Right. And then, you know, you're building up your boundaries and you'll absorb emotions less and less and less and less. Yeah. Um, definitely keep tracking. Yes. The more sessions you do. 
Absolutely. Hey, you know what? We do have another volunteer here. I don't think Kathy's with us. So uh, Pixology Studio says, hi, I'd love to volunteer too if you have enough time. So we're going to. Uh, name would be wonderful. And so Pixology Studios from uh, from YouTube. And um, never did read the definition here. So I'll just get okay. into the uh, Go ahead. code book. So this is the book. Uh, if you're new to us, uh, written by Dr. Bradley Nelson, motion code book. It's a book and a certification program. And uh, here we go. Okay, low self-esteem is a low appraisal of one's own worth or value. So in other words, low self-worth or low, uh, you know, yeah, low value. Feeling and focusing on one's flaws. All right, holding a feeling of disrespect for the self, not confident, lacking love. So yeah, we want to boost confidence. We want to increase self-love. Uh, that's what we're doing today. Yeah, and you know, if we were going to go back to that little the measuring thing, oh, you remember it, I can't find it. What a mess I've created here today. So that's what John's gonna do. He's gonna remove the vibrations that are contaminating the overall vibration. And just by the math equation, the vibration will get risen because the negative one's been pulled. Okay, Go ahead, John. good. Nate, Nate. Nate. So Pixology Studios is Nate. That's good, thank you, Nate. And, um, I'll just connect up now to Nate. And Nate, uh, maybe just give me a severity, uh, just your subjective uh, number, 10 being the most severe of sort of like low self-esteem or lack of confidence that uh, you've been feeling, you know, just sort of overall over the last uh, few months. So if you can. <clears throat> so I'll just connect up to Nate. We need a little bit more water here. Yeah. Oh, there's another little key that I don't. we're not using lately, but... It's, it's hydration that the practitioner needs to be really hydrated and that's what helps with conductivity. So if we yeah. drink water during your sessions, we, we know that we're doing that. <laughs> and now it's John's Nate. having Nate's proxy. So my muscle testing, it looks like this. So this is what I'm doing now. So my intention is to connect up to Nate and act as a proxy. So I'm just gonna establish that energetic connection. Yes and no. So I have a good connection with Nate. Yeah, so uh, let's just get the severity. So I'll just test the severity, low self-esteem, or you know, lack of self-worth, lack of confidence, just over the last six months to a year. Five, yeah, so it's at least a five. Okay, is it a 10? No, seven, so somewhere there, six, seven, eight, somewhere in there. Okay. So if there's a trapped emotion we can clear to reduce low self-esteem, increase confidence. Yeah, increase self-love. Yeah, so is it low self-esteem? It is not, but it is in column A. It is not. Okay, John. Is column B. John's only asking yes or no questions. It is. So these are yes or no indicators, so he's finding it, searching for it. B, yeah. So he's at eight. Nate's at eight, uh, different with other parts of life. So seven is pretty close, right? So, uh, so B odd? Yes, B even. No. Okay, so I'm just looking at my chart right here. Yeah. So is it B1? No. Three, yes, or five. So it's in B3. See what's behind, uh, what's in B3 here? Is it the first one? Confusion? No. Defensive? No. Grief? Self-abuse or stubbornness? So it is self-abuse. Ding, 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 ding. So this ding. is... This is uh, it's just right up there with that trapped emotion of low self esteem. Yeah. Same but different. So self abuse. Uh, let's clear it. Release self abuse. So that's negative self talk. In other words, so releasing self abuse. So hard on yourself, uh, beating yourself up uh, mentally. You can also have like physical self abuse with um, staying up all night, watching, yeah, binge watching Netflix when you know you should be sleeping. That's not good. Okay. Is there uh, another trapped emotion we can clear here, Nate, to increase confidence and decrease that to low self esteem? Okay, odd. A odd? Yeah, so one. So it's, so it's an A3. First one crying? No, it's discouragement. So it's discouragement. Need to know more. No. It kind of makes sense to me, right? Like, just to kind of... They kind of paint a picture, you know, when I'm working. Yeah. With them, and I say, here's what the scene could have been, and we laugh at it because there's yeah. 
emotions. And somebody said something, you got discouraged, and, and yeah. we made a little story up about it. Yeah, so, um, yeah, sort of like that. There's some other good ones, like rejection would be sort of in there too, like blaming or like self-blaming, uh, worthless, unworthy. Yeah. Those are sort of like the key ones that, that I like to find to help people with, with this as well. Yeah. So is there another trap emotion, Nate? We can identify and clear right now to increase confidence, boost confidence, boost self-love, and clear out that low self-esteem. Yeah, so call A. No, be odd. Two, four, six. So it's in B2. So this is the first one. Failure, no helpless, no hopeless, no lack of control. No, so it's low self-esteem. We got it. <laughs> A little startling, but it finally came up. Low self-esteem. Yeah. Okay. Be, all right. We need some more. No. Clear this. Release, release, release. Release, low self-esteem. Okay. It's cleared. Yes. Good, good, good. Okay. So, uh, you know, test the severity. That's. I forget the number four or five or something. Severity of this low self-esteem or lack of confidence, self-love. Is it five or higher? It's a two. Okay, so we're on the right track here. We're, we're doing well here, Nate. Uh, call me out of the Netflix last night. Okay, uh, uh, he's laughing. Okay, so um, another trapped emotion, Nate. We can identify and clear, yeah. You three or five, so back to B3. We're like in row three today, which is uh, correlates with the, like the lung or colon, traditional Chinese medicine, lung, large in, and large intestine, colon. They uh, are frequency generators. Our organs are frequency generators and glands, and they generate these emotions in row three, which is uh, we've named like a few of them here, like that self abuse. So, is it the first one? So, is it? I'm just asking questions in my head. So it's grief. Yeah, need to know more. No. So grief. We've done shows on grief too. Uh, there's there's two types of grief. Obviously, it's the loss of someone or something, uh, and it could also be like someone's giving you a hard time or giving you grief, right? Which could then lead to low self esteem because then you're beating yourself up and going down that kind of like it snowballs, right? So they're beating you up and then you beat yourself up. Yeah, absolutely, right? Yeah. Okay, is that? I think that uh, that's good for uh, you know the session for now. I think. I think so too. Yeah. yeah so um, yeah, Nate saying awesome. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. And uh, thanks for volunteering as well. Yeah. And yeah, well, you did a session, did you? I did do a session. Cardi was feeling frustrated, and I thought, well, we don't want people to watch our show and have a negative vibration. So I did a quick session for uh, Kathy Worth while you were doing that. She had lost the connection. Uh, so Kathy, you, uh, had some trapped emotions as well. You know, it's easier, it's faster to do it when you don't got to talk about it. So it's not that I'm faster than John, but John's explaining everything where I just have to talk to my voice in my head. So I was able to do the same session that John did. And, uh, so, um, join us again next week. Yeah. Okay. So good. Kathy says I'm here. Yeah. Kathy. Yeah. Again, Michael. Just and WTGL, I don't know your name, but your son, like we've met somewhere before. Uh, if you want to learn how to do muscle testing, I use this style. John uses a different style. As long as you make an agreement with your subconscious mind about what's a yes and no, because all the questions are yes or no, um, you can go to, I put the tag there, it's michaelloge.com forward slash muscle testing. Well, first, I got an exciting announcement. So, um, well, two announcements. John and I in December are working on fear. Do you have the fear of blank? Well, you'll tell us what that is. So, uh, and every week we're going to do the same subject about fear. Uh, and uh, we may have a theme and we may not have a theme, right, John? Might Absolutely. Be, might be yeah. Fear of falling on week two and fear of bugs that we don't know. But again, the purpose of the show is to show there's alternative ways for you to get rid of fears and phobias. And, you know, in, you know, in Victoria, it rains a lot. So I don't really like driving on the highway when it's raining and the windshield wipers grow. And the highways here are pristine, right? Because we don't have snow. So the highways are beautiful. I shouldn't say that with the exception of in the main line. But so there's kind of slick and the windshield wipers are going. And there's traffic going to the ferry. And so last week, I when I got to my 
place, I had to do an emotion code session on myself because I wasn't trusting all of a sudden. I wasn't trusting having to make a left turn. And, and then I went to my gym yesterday and I, I forgot that I used to be nervous there. So maybe it's fear of driving. Yeah, fear of traveling is really common and we're, we're kind of in that season right now yes. uh, where there's yeah. going to be quite a bit of travel for people. So okay. if I see you, come join us. Yeah, come join us. Um, and if you want to be on the list, go to this page. We'll get you set up and let you yeah. know. And uh, like, you know, uh, next uh, in the next series, John and I will both be doing emotion code sessions. We're going to yeah. synchronize the emotion code practitioners. So we'll be able to take two people. But this month I was uh, leading with Law of Attraction. But January 1st, John is away on New Year's Day. I do my annual New Year's Day show that happens to be on Saturday. What a lovely time for that to happen. Guess what I'm doing? The show is for anybody can watch, but it's really for emotion code and body code practitioners. Next week, I'm going to give you the link to register. What am I teaching you? I'm going to teach you a protocol that I have mastered. And I, since June, I worked with 700 and 95 people, look at this, 795 people deleting a specific food or drink item in under one minute. Now it you works. Are, yeah. It's going to be good to do that. And I'm going to give my script away. I'm going to tell you exactly what I say to make sure that I'm including everything so you can offer it to your clients. Imagine your client hiring you for something at the end of the call. You know how they give a fortune cookie away at the restaurant? Your fortune cookie could be, hey, do you got a food or drink item that you'd like to delete for the rest of your life? And their head kind of spins and they say, yes, Pepsi or Coke. And in half a minute, or maybe a minute because you're just learning, you can delete their trigger, interest, obsession, fanaticism, desire, addiction, just, I've got to see it when I have it, buy it when it's on sale, eat it when I find it on the bottom of my purse. Habits. So I'm going to teach you how to do that on January 1st. There is a worksheet that comes with it because it's Michael Loge style. And next week I'm going to be sending out the registration again. I've mastered it. 795 people got outstanding results when I deleted their food or drink item. I don't call it an addiction. It's just a habit of cuts and fanaticism. It's easier to call it an addiction, but you know what I mean. If mm. you're waking up with a chip bag in your bed, join me on January 1st and we can help you with that. John, um, our friends, uh, some people have not had an emotion code session. They don't maybe know the experience. I'm going to give your website up here, but tell people kind of what do they need to do to be in front of the camera with you or I. Right, yeah, so we both have online scheduling. I'm at, my website is aliveandpeer.com. And Michael's at michaellozier.com. And like I said, we have online scheduling. So you can go and find a time and a date that works for you. Calendar pops up and it's just, it's really awesome uh, scheduling software. And it's super, super, uh, you know, in intuitive and it's uh, easy to use. So uh, links up to payment. And then we can send you a video, a, a link to like Zoom we use. And we can be having, having a session over, you know, video. And if you can't do that, uh, you know, you can, can't make uh, you know the time and you just want us to work on you you can send us a list of concerns and we'll do the e the, the session just completely remotely email and send you an email afterwards when it's done let you know uh, what we found and um, you probably we'll know before you get the email though they'll probably know we worked on them before we reply to the email absolutely yeah so yeah people are feeling you know uh, Nate said he's feeling later already. So, you know, that's awesome. That's really, really common. Yeah. And uh, simple as that. Yeah, that's how you can get a hold of us and hire us uh, as your practitioner. Yeah, we'd love to be your practitioner. You know our style. Um, you know, the one thing I was going to recommend for Nate is to notice how he has the ability now to say what he's good at. And he doesn't have to tell anybody, just himself. It's like, wow, you know what? I'm really nailing this, whatever I'm working on. Just just the ability to esteem yourself. That's what low self-esteem is. And yes, it didn't take 44 years of therapy. It took John and a magnet. That's the purpose of the show, to show there's alternative ways for you to have a high vibration and live a rich, full, delicious life. And we wanted to be the, the guys that help you release those negative emotions. John, we had a good show today. We met our goals, we met our objectives, we got a couple volunteers, and we've got some new friends that are gonna come back and join us. I'm just gonna wrap up with some of the comments that we're hearing. 
Um, let's see. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Natasha saying thank you for a good show. Pixology saying wow. Not sure what. Oh, maybe the wow was from Pixology session. Uh, and again, uh, yeah, we loved having you here today. Make sure you sign up. Get on the email list. We'd love to have you here next week. John, let's say goodbye to our friends. Uh, thanks for joining us this week, everyone. See you next week. Bye-bye.